I did a very good first year at UCT. I was pretty boring. I just learned how to smoke cigarettes, you know. Mm. Oh, no, like, sure, no, butch. I remember at the Clifton Hotel having a beer. What I had beer. Anyway, having a beer and all the <laughs> surfing boys were there. And they were all thick. And the cigarette came out Australia. And I was like, and I'm like, boom, boom, and it so it didn't work well. Um, but so my parents said they could send me overseas to see the world as a present, which was fantastic, 1966. And I went with a boat over to London. A friend of the family took me to the theatre to see Laurence Olivier in Othello. Laurence Olivier. And I thought, but this is a white man blacked up. We've got so many in South Africa. Why didn't they bring one of ours here? And I just think that's where something clicked about the excitement of being a member of the audience. And then when I came back to South Africa after this, like, two months away, back to university for my second year, I met in the canteen over my slop chips at UCT when we were registering this girl with a beret and sunglasses and a cigarette holder, Phyllis Punt, actrice, drama student. And I looked at her and I thought, hell, how do you look like that? I want to look like that. What did she do? I said, what do you do? She said, I'm an actrice. <laughs> so I followed her to drama school and that's where I started a drama school. And then within a week they said to me, oh, I'm, oh Peter, you don't really have talent. We don't think you have talent as an actor, become a stage manager. So I said, yes, because you believed older people in those days, they always knew better. You know, it was the best training I could have wished for. Mm. I was trained in the alphabet of theater. Everything mm. I can do. Out of necessity, I learned it because that was my job. And now, after 40-something years in the theater, I still set up my stage, I write my material, I yes. make my dresses, and I wear my dresses. So that was the greatest background. So that's where it started.